Whoa, 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 what? I told you months ago that if we were gonna make this work, you had to stop drinking and smoking pot, and you didn't. I'm in a show with Jason Schwartzman and Zach Galifianakis, and it's written by Jonathan Ames, and it's called Bored to Death. It's dangerous to go cold turkey. I'm down to white wine, and I can't help it. And it's one of the quirkiest, funniest pieces I've ever been in. I love the writing. They give it to cancer patients. You don't have cancer. Not yet. It is my kind of, you know, funny right now. It's like uh, very character driven. Why didn't you tell me? Because I thought she was bluffing. I didn't think she would actually move out. Jason plays Jonathan Ames. Jonathan Ames is the writer, the novelist, creator of Bored to Death. Jason uses his name. He's not playing Jonathan Ames, literally, but uh, he plays Jonathan Ames, who's also a uh, first-time novelist who's trying to get the second novel out, and his girlfriend leaves him in the first scene because he's still drinking wine and smoking marijuana. And so in this kind of bored malaise, kind of like Don Quixote, absorbed in his fantasy world to the point where he goes online on Craigslist and puts an ad that's saying, you know, I'll help you find missing people, reasonable rates, private detective. And he actually gets a hit. It's okay. It's okay. I'm here to help you. Your sister sent me. Everything's fine. I'm a private detective. And so he's off and running, and he becomes this kind of tilting at windmills, way over his head, private detective in New York City. This is the biggest screw-up ever. George Christopher is the publisher of a glossy New York magazine called Edition New York, and he's been in the business for a very long time. He's very well-educated. He's very bright. He's this funny combination of bored, kind of seen it all, and doesn't want to be left out by whatever might be new coming along the way. I hired Jonathan to write society stuff for the magazine, but he's really my connection to life, you know to marijuana, to women, to youth, to, you know, whatever new exciting thing he's doing, I don't want to be left behind. You know, I'm, I'm very oral nowadays. I feel like I'm half man.